Oh, good morning, everybody. Can you say morning? Good morning. What day is it? Camping day, and it is Saturday. Saturday. Yes, we are off camping. Oh, that sunlight there. Um, uh, it's currently what, half past six. Um, I got up nice and early this morning, which is unusual. Had a shower, whatnots. I've loaded the roof box. I've managed to get all the tent and all the chairs and one of our tables in the roof box. Um, that's it's almost full. I think the weight limit is reached on it. So, oh, are you and Daddy Cuddles? This one's still tired, but she wanted to get up this morning because she's going on holiday. This is a lovely cuddle though. So yeah, so um, Kaylee is getting up in a second. I think Sienna is still asleep. Yes, yeah, she is. So I need to put the easy base on the car, but I might get Kaylee to reverse off the drive before I put the easy base on, I think. Just so, because you get a few cars this time in the morning across the road. And last thing you want to do is reverse into a car with an easy base on first thing. So we'll catch up with you in a bit. Say bye. Bye. And we'll see you later. Who was it that said... We'll be able to fit everything in the car. And that was you. <laughs> without any of the seats um, down. Yeah, that hasn't happened. That has not happened. Um, how, are you, how are you back there, Summer? Shall I drink? I'm pretty brilliant, actually. I've got, <laughs> I've got how, like, can't get my words out. I've got my nice space. It's, it's not as bad got, as it was last year. I'm accompanied by my friends. All the teddy bears. I like bears. call him, um, what's that bowl? What's that bowl? <laughs> um, yeah, so... Vacuum. The answer to will we be able to fit everything in the car with all of the seats up is no, no. but it's all in. We've got to stop at a garage to get some diesel. We've got to stop at Halford to get a single airbed because last year we had three single airbeds. Now we can only find one and a ratchet strap Wait, to go about, around the roof box just so that I have a bit of peace of mind. What about my sleeping bag? I've, I've got that. One. I've got it. Although all of that is absolutely fine. I will still panic the whole way. I always say, I wish we had a panoramic roof so I could keep an eye on it. But we are already, it is quarter past, just no, 10, ten past, past nine, Hi, and we're on the road. <laughs> it's like deja vu. <laughs> um, yeah, this is a bit like last year, isn't it? <laughs> Why is everyone driving so slow? <laughs> because everyone's going on holiday right now. Everybody. Look at all the caravans, all the roof boxes. Everyone is trying to get down to the south for a holiday. <laughs> I did say. Um, oh, down to the southwest even. Wowzers. Everyone's off on their holobobs, aren't they? Should we do a count? How many caravans we see? Count all the caravans. There's one already. It'd make it more interesting if we can't have roof boxes. There's two behind us. There is a serious amount of caravans. And you know what's going to happen, don't you? We're going to get on pitch. Mummy's going to watch some people turn up with their caravans. And then Mum's going to go, I want a caravan. Oh, I like that one. It won't. It'll be, oh, look. They've only turned up half an hour ago. That's it. That's, that's, what, makes, that's what makes me want a caravan. The second that they pull up, they pull up, they get their chairs out. They open a drink, they're done. And there's us, three hours step, later, step. sweating. On the brink the of divorce. Off. Yeah, on the brink of divorce, every time. <laughs> Trying to set the tent up. Dad, have another strawberry, please. But I am actually pooping my pants enough with the back carrier. Without the thought of, you know, what would I be like if I was trying to tell a caravan? Can you imagine what my intrusive thoughts would be doing? I'd be thinking I'm going to watch the caravan come beside us. <laughs> Is there any drinks? In the bag. In the bag. Someone's hijacked the caravan. In the teddy bag. Are we there yet? Not yet. <laughs> Not yet. Are we there yet? Not yet. Only just got on the motorway. Yeah. 
when we left home just over two hours ago, it said on our sat nav that we would be there in two hours. Um, it still says we're going to be there in two hours. We have been in gridlock traffic the whole way. So we've just managed to pull off at services, which has got some portaloos. This is the busiest, well, parked in a field. They've had to open the field for overflow. Sienna's just done a, a somersault because, you know, that's what we do. Um, yeah, we're going to go have a, spend a penny, as my granny would have said, and grab a couple of chocolate bars or something because everyone's starving. The only food we've got in the car is raw bacon and sausages in the fridge. <laughs> a bottle of gin, a bottle of gin and a couple of, um, a couple of beers, that's it. So um, yeah, we're going to stop, grab some food and go to the toilet. Felicity, do you want to come and get a chocolate bar? Which one would you like? Crunchy or Kit Kat? A crunchy? Right, grab one of those then. What would you like, Sienna? Kit Kat? I want to lower the tone of the, of the uh, channel to this, but it's just too funny. Riley came out of the toilets and said, Mum, those toilets look like gorillas. And I was like, what? And he went, there's that many pubes on the toilet seat. It looks like a gorilla. <laughs> Best thing I've heard all day. Anyway, That's we're about... Said it was all the poo around the toilet. No, he said no, it, was, it looked like a gorilla. Um, we're going to hit the road. Um, I think the hardest thing is getting back out of the service station back onto the road but I've just spoke to a lady who was also waiting for the toilets who's come from North Yorkshire and she's been on the road since 5 a.m. so seven hours already and still not in Cornwall so oh, fingers crossed once we get through this last bit of red traffic we'll be on our, on our way and it's not even accidents it's just sheer congestion are you ready guys no. are you ready we're about to go into Cornwall. Oh. <laughs> At long last. Five, four, three, two, two, one. We're in Cornwall. It's only taking us three hours and 43 minutes. Three hours and 43 minutes. <laughs> we did it, guys. We do what, 60 miles? Oh, my word. We are also right in the middle of the convoy of V-dubs going to run to the sun, which is pretty cool, because up on all the, the bridges, is there people up on this one? Yeah, loads on this one. There's loads of people watching as they come through and everyone starts beeping their horns. So if you listen, you might hear some beep, 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 beep. I always wave to them and see if they've got one wave so far. Yeah, Riley's waving. I don't think they're watching. <laughs> they're not there to watch us, Riley. <laughs> I've got one wave so far. Last I've got a wave. Wait, wait, what is it? It's a, um, it's one to the sun. Oh, they got banners out of everything up here. If you Google it, it's been going on for years, Run to the Sun. Right, Basically, there's a load of people camping around somewhere going to the sun. Yeah. There you go, there's a couple more parked in there. Wait, We've seen some pretty epic ones, haven't we? Welcome back. Come on, wave to us, please wave. Are they waving? No. <laughs> there you are, look, welcome back. Good luck, Good luck, wave. Say look, don't wave back. <laughs> They're not waving at us. <laughs>
already guessed, we've arrived. Um, tent is up the main park. Kev's just got to do all the guy ropes and then put the porch on. I've put up one of the cupboards, the kitchen and the table so far. And now I'm about to try and put together the bunk beds. It does not matter how many times I put these flipping things together, I'm still going to get stressed. I still get it wrong and get really frustrated with it. It just is just a nightmare. And they're so heavy. Like, there's just so many pieces. They're a godsend once they're up. They're brilliant. But getting them up is never fun. So I'm going to try and do that whilst Kev's doing the guy ropes. We have, um, um, somewhere, I think, yeah. Kids have already been off and found where the like little arcade is. Didn't realise quite how close to Nuki Airport we were. Um, put it this way, we may as well be pitched up on the runway because we're that close. Like the runway ends and the camping field begins. So there's been like rescue helicopters going over, um, private jets, and we've seen one big passenger airline so far. Nuki Airport is not very big, so it's not like it's constant. But Riley had to ring my dad straight away to say, Granddad, we're pretty much on the runway because my dad loves spotting aeroplanes. So, yeah. You're gonna, that's my new oh, cup, you so pickle. Pretty. Yeah, that's Mummy's new cup. Oh. I'm so, gonna help do this, which summer's, last time took ages. Summer's gonna help me do this, which last time took ages. Which last time made Reese have the brink of a breakdown. Bring, yeah, Reese was on the brink of a breakdown last time. He put, helped me put these together. I've got a foot of him holding up a pole. That's <laughs> yeah. like, not they're hard. just a flipping nightmare. Usually we have me and Kev and the girls all in one of these double rooms and the girls bunk beds usually go down through here however we often find that they start to poke out of the end over there and it always makes me worry that it's going to rip the tents so we're going for a different way round this time and see how we get on so the girls are going here these are just so long they are like literally the length of a single bed um, so they're going to go along here and then summer is going to go in down here so they share a room at home so it's no difference being at home um, we're going to give this a go this time and then over this side oh just knock my sunglasses off my head um, we've got me and Kev in here I've got my fluffy Mickey Mouse pajamas um, both got a fluffy blanket each as well I've put the divider up in the middle and Riley is in this side then I've got the cupboard which has got Riley's clothes in the bottom the two girls clothes in the middle and all of our toiletries etc in the top which means there's no room for mine and Kev's clothes so ours are down there in a bag and Summer's are in her bedroom in a bag so I'd like to get another one of these cupboards to go over here and then we'd have more space for mine and Kev's and Summer's clothes. So two cupboards for clothes is what I think would be much more ideal. And then another cupboard, the same as these, these three storey cupboards, to go out here in the porch for more food. So this is our new kitchen. I've run the PowerPoint from outside all the way under the tent carpet, out here, clipped it in to onto the kitchen. And then I've got an... an extra like three plug thing on here which will run the toaster the kettle and the new cooker it won't overpower it because we won't be using all three of these things at the same time um, so they can be unplugged and then onto that i've clipped an extension lead again this is all fine um, and that runs back into the tent onto the floor there for phone chargers to charge up phones and tablets but again not everything's going to be running at the same time and then also the fridge is plugged in to there as well and then we've got the water carrier down here i've just got all in one of the tubs all the saucepans um utensils and etc bowls plates cups in there 
this big part of the kitchen is usually where you'd have a gas bottle but obviously we don't have gas anymore and it only leaves me two shelves for food which is why I'd like to get another one of the tall cupboards that could go here to put more food in and then over this side we've just got Riley with his football um, all of the shoes another tub which has got like spades bags for if we go to the beach um, it's just gonna be like a, a storage tub um, and then out here we've got Summer reading her book, um, chairs, table, where we can all sit and eat our food. Um, and me ducking my lollipop. You sucking a lollipop. Where did you get a lollipop? We won them. Oh, you won them in the arcade. Um, i still got one more. you got one more? You lucky things. Make sure you sit down and eat them then. Okay, we'll make sure you sit there and eat them. Um, don't run around with them. This table we used to have inside the tent and we used it for putting all sorts of things like all the bowls, plates and stuff on because we never used to have um, a kitchen with storage. I'm now going to use that to eat around because what we found with the fold-out picnic table was it was just a little bit too small um, as we're all getting bigger. So we've got that table to eat around out here. We've got the barbecue over there ready for when we have a barbecue. And that's us all done. Got our little solar lights out. We need to buy some rubbish bags. Batteries. batteries. Although I don't think we're going to need the lights because it stays daylight until 10 o'clock and it's daylight at 4 o'clock. So I don't think we're going to have a problem with it being dark. But anyway, that is us all set up. We now need to go food shopping and it's about half past four. Right, every time we go camping, you can put the camping site you went to, what you like best. Which one on that? And this one, this is, this is the kids' one. It's another camping journal, look. And this one's got all little things in. How many nights you stayed for, what you took, look, flip-flops, hiking shoes, swimsuits. Few colour ins, and then there's things to do in this one, look. Yeah, well, that's this one. That's this one's for you, and I think I might give this one for you and Felicity to do. Then I might leave Riley in charge of the big one because he can practice writing, do all the things in there. Yeah, are you eating another lollipop? Yeah. an Audi supermarket that has a view 
like this. It's just so beautiful. <laughs> so beautiful. If you can just keep your head there, it's blocking the sun. Um, me and Summer finally got back do from mean? doing the shopping. Do um, we were coming back up over the hill past that beach and the traffic just stopped and we missed an accident by about 10 cars. Um, they've shut the road. There was fire engines, police cars, ambulances all flying um, huh? down, the, down the hill and back up the hill and we had to just turn around and find another way back which took a little while but we're back now food is in the fridge and the barbecue is on it's actually 20 past seven hang on two seconds sienna it's 20 past seven and the girls are like are we allowed to stay up late and i'm like it's already past your bedtime and we haven't even eaten any tea yet and sienna's down here in her hoodie and her sleeping bag you gonna sleep out here no no you sure well i'm going down here waiting for mommy to walk she wants me to rock her to sleep in the sleeping bag. I said, I'm not rocking you to sleep yet because you haven't had your tea. <laughs> I don't want to be rocked. Like, like you get a little laugh and you rock me. Rock you to sleep? Yeah, marshmallows, Yeah, I've got some marshmallows. I'm not ugly. You're just rocking like Just rocking you like that? Yeah, I like it. Okay. I'm not even rocking again. <laughs> Get my hoodie on. We need to go and get you in your pajamas. Yes. No, you can have a shower tomorrow. Pajamas, face wipe because you're covered in ketchup, and then I've made you a hot chocolate. Found Blister yet? Yeah. Where is she then? Where's Lissy? Give you the best of tea. Back ones as well. Right guys, it's now half past nine. I think it might even be later than that. And we are trying to settle the kids to bed. Um, try. I'll Quarter to ten. Oh, quarter to ten. Um, and it's still this light. So, oh, there's Lissy. Lissy's just come back from the toilet after we put them to bed. And then they all needed the toilet. Um, right, off you go. You're going to say night-night to everyone? Night-night. Night-night. Right, back into bed for, the, I think, about the fourth time. Um, Summer's just made me and her hot chocolate. And we've just watched the sun go down. And we're all going to go off and have an early night because it's been a super, super long day. Um, I've no idea how much we've managed to film for you today. Most of it's probably been us stuck in traffic. But we'll be back with more videos this week. So thank you for watching. See you all very, very soon.